hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel so i know i have been missing in action for the past couple of weeks i was actually on vacation i was in north carolina um, my son had just turned 21 so we were celebrating his birthday so i do have three boys 19 21 and soon my oldest will be 23 so that's where i was um, but I am back. We will have more videos loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Today, I am just going to do a basic glam. I'm not going to get ham with it or anything like that. I'm just going to do a soft makeup tutorial. Just a basic glam. Basic get ready with me. If this is your type of content, please feel free to sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so I did go ahead and prime my eyelids just to save a little bit of time. And then I am going to go ahead and set my face. So I'm still using the Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. I think this is perfect for summer because it really does lock your makeup into place. So I'm just gonna set my face here real quick. And I'm still using the Benefit Professional Primer. So I'm gonna go in with this as well and just prime my skin real quick. And then we'll go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow. I hope everybody is doing well. I know summer is approaching very quickly. It's very warm outside. This is my type of weather. So I hope everybody's summer, pre-summer is going well. And I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Mastery Palette. I'm just gonna use this today. As you can see, I really like this palette because I have hit pan on a couple of the shadows. So I'm just going to go in with a couple transition colors or maybe one transition color. I'm just going to take this soft brown color here, just put this on my eyelid. And I believe I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Bite Size Palette as well. This one is in Cream and Sugar. I'm gonna use this today. I'm just gonna build up the color a little bit, build up that brown, and I may put a little shimmer on top and just rock it that way. I'm not even gonna put on lashes today. All right, so I am using a blending brush, which is the Farah Blending Brush. I'm just gonna pop this eyeshadow on this dark brown color here. It looks almost black. So I'm gonna use this. This is a very pigmented eyeshadow. I do like these e.l.f. Bite Size palettes, as you guys know. They are very pigmented and I really like their colors. I do apologize for any background noise. Um, we do have a lot of people riding motorcycles and things like that. Seems like every time I wanna film, there's some type of background noise, so I do apologize. So the color looks a little choppy. I think I need a smaller brush. So I'm just gonna switch brushes here and try and blend this out some more. Sometimes you have to pull on the edge of your eye to get that perfect blend. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this color in on the next side because sometimes you do have to pull, you know, your eyelid a little bit just to get that perfect blend. That's what I had to do on this left eye right here. So I'm about to do that on my right side and make it match. So. I said I wasn't going to do nothing dramatic, but look, I'm sitting here putting on a dark color still but it's okay 
So I'm just gonna build this up a little bit. I'm gonna put on one of these shimmers here. I have like a gold color here. I'm gonna use that and put that on my eyelid and see what it does. I really like their shimmers because you don't really have to spray it or anything like that. Like your finger does the work. So it's really pigmented. So I like that about these shimmers with these e.l.f. bite size palettes, even e.l.f. palettes as a whole. You know, their shimmers and stuff, you can just use your finger and blend it in and it works really nice. It, it, it shows. So I think I'm even going to bring it up a little bit and use this little light gold color here. Let's see. Just put that on top. So it's more or less like a smoky shadow with shimmer on top. So that's what we've done. So there's that. And I'm just gonna take that same eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna go over it just a hair. I don't want the shimmer to overtake the eyeshadow, so I'm gonna blend it out just a little bit here. All right, and then I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I am still loving this, guys. This is like, this is everything. Like, you can get this, I believe, at the dollar store, Amazon, LA Girl, uh, dot com. You can get that on there. But actually, before I apply the foundation, what I've been doing is putting my concealer on first and then uh, blending in my foundation. So currently, I'm using the Ulta Beauty uh, Deep Warm Concealer. It's full coverage concealer. So I'm using this. And I'm just going to put this on real quick. Blend it in under the eyes, of course. All right, so that's on there. That's gonna sit on there for a good two, three minutes, and then we'll blend it out and put on the foundation. Okay, so I did blend out the concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation. Again, I am in the shade Cafe. Yeah, I'm in the shade Cafe. And I'm just gonna take like two pumps on my foundation brush here. If you guys have any like video recommendations that you wanna see, let me know and I'll be more than willing to try them out for you. All right, so foundation is blended in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this concealer under my eyes and blend that out. And I'm still using the CoverGirl Clean and Clear Invisible Translucent Powder. It's the loose uh, powder. And what I've been doing after I set my eyes, it may sound silly, but I've been taking that same matte setting spray and I've been setting my face as soon as I apply the foundation. All right, so now after the foundation is set, then I'm gonna go in with the setting powder again and I'm just gonna set my face with it. I'm taking my blending brush here, tapping off the excess and just applying it to my face. Do what works for you. There's no rules to makeup, although I know everybody says do this, do that, do whatever, do what works for you. Because not all techniques work for everybody. So I'm just doing what works for me. All right. So then I'm gonna go ahead in with my bronzer and blush. I'm not even gonna do highlight. Again, this is just a more simple glam. Um, so I'm going to go in with my bronzer and blush. I'm still loving the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I'm just taking my brush here. I'm just going to use these two darker shades. All 
All right, and then for blush, I am using the Believe Beauty of Beauty Amore color. Again, it does have the blush and the shimmer there. I'm just gonna dip into it, tap off the excess, apply it to my cheeks. I'm still using my Essence uh, Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. I like to put a couple coats of mascara on because this is really volumizing for real. So it does bring out your lashes. Even if you have little lashes, this mascara is gonna work. Essence always has really good mascara. It's very lengthening. All right, so now I'm going to take this blue eyeliner that I have. This is Waterproof Protection Lip and Eyeliner Pencil. Now I cannot see anybody wearing blue eyeliner pencil, but hey, you never know these days. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. I just figured I'd go ahead and give it a little pop of blue, being that I have it on a blue shirt. All right, so the blue eyeliner is on. That's cute. It's cute. I like that. It's subtle. It's not like really bright or anything like that. All right, and then I'm just gonna take my brown eyeliner, my brown eyeliner, I'm just gonna take my brown e.l.f. lip liner and I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. lip plumping gloss, which is in Sparkling Rose. I'm just gonna go over on top of that. Now I'm just gonna set my face. I'm just gonna use the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tan Dark Powder. I'm gonna use that and set the remainder of my face. All right guys, this completes the look. This is just a basic soft glam. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.